nine and that's why she's not in the building we put her outside um, that she's getting older and she's asking more questions and um, silly me I don't know why I was thinking that she had no idea but because we don't make a big deal out of it you know think you get dressed you go to school and life is so so you know you do what you gotta do but on January 11th 10 o'clock Jacqueline asked what is this incredible system 
Am I going to die? And I'm not a quick thinker, I have to tell you. It was 10 o'clock, it was a Monday, it was the car broke down, it was just a day from hell. And, and we were in the bathroom, and I was just, it was like 10 o'clock and we should have been in bed, but it was just one of those days. And I literally looked at her and um, dumbfounded, and just looked to the side to her and said, um, well, um, that was a long, long ago numbers, you know, because I just couldn't think quickly. And it was, uh, it was chaos. And, um, and one of the things that Pudge and I do is we never, ever lie to our girls, ever. We've made it a promise. So if they ask us something, they never, ever second guess us. So we, um, Jacqueline immediately ran to her bed crying. And we sat down and we spoke and we told her what cystic fibrosis was. But the beauty of the whole thing was is that we were able to say in her little lifespan of 10 how far we've come with research and how much years we've bought. And it was because of all of you that I was able to do that for her. So with all of my heart and soul, thank you because I was able to explain that to her. So thank you with everything that I have. Well, this is Jacqueline's teacher. This is Lindsay. Thank you. Hello. The 65 Roses story. 65 roses is what some children with cystic fibrosis call their disease because the words are much easier for them to pronounce. Mary G. Weiss became a volunteer for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation in 1965 after learning that her three little boys had CF. Her duty was to call every civic club, social and service organization, seeking financial support for CF research. Mary's four-year-old son, Richard, listened closely to his mother as she made each call. After several calls, Richard came into the room and told his mom, I know what you are working for. Mary was dumbstruck because Richard did not know what she was doing, nor did he know that he had cystic fibrosis. With some trepidation, Mary posed the questions, What am I working for, Richard? You are working for 65 roses, he answered so sweetly, Mary was speechless. She went over to him and tenderly pressed his body to, her, his body to hers. He could not see the tears running down Mary's cheeks as she stammered, Yes, Richard, I'm working for 65 Roses. For 45 years, 65 Roses have been used by children of all ages to describe their disease. But making it easier, does not, easier to say does not make it easier to live with. The 65 Roses story has captured the hearts and emotions of all who have heard it. The rose, appropriately the ancient symbol of love, has become a symbol of the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. So for 2010, the numbers are... Number, please. 294 jumpers. So we, oh my God, so more jumpers on there street and this weather.
As a parent, when people are kind to your children, you appreciate it. So can you only imagine how I feel? So with all of our hearts, and my husband, who, who doesn't talk to anybody either. <laughs> Best friends forever, right, Punch? Yeah, BFF, baby. BFF. Thank you very much. Thank you.